friend, can you relate to this? This morning I woke up and I spent way too long looking at myself in the mirror, just like, hmm, huh, huh, huh. So today I wanna talk about health and body image and the difference between those two things. Let me start off by saying that following a healthy lifestyle is something that we could all be better at. And by we all, I mean me. But it just feels better when I blame everyone else too. Misery needs company. But when we're having this conversation around health, we need to remember that health is relative. What is right for one body isn't necessarily right for another body. Everyone is different. It's like when you wear jeans, you know? High-rise jeans look great on Rihanna, but when I wear high-rise jeans, they come up to here, and now my boobs are in my pockets. The point I'm trying to make is, when we try to take a universal standard for what it means to be healthy and apply it to all bodies, we tend to get into body shaming. Health, body shaming, different things. It's crazy I still have to say this, but let me just say it. There is no justification for you critiquing a stranger's body, even if you're pretending it's because of health. Because the reality is you have no idea what that person's health level is or what is appropriate for their body, unless you're a doctor. In which case, if you're a doctor, why are you watching this? It's 1.30 in the morning, don't you have lives to save? But real talk, sometimes doctors even get it wrong. In fact, a recent study shows that doctors are more likely to misdiagnose overweight patients because they're hesitant to run the proper tests on them because they just want to blame it on their body size. You can't tell someone's health just based on their appearance. A lot of people probably look at me and think, wow, that's like a really healthy 30 something year old. Huh. But no, you're wrong. I'm you, I'm completely unfit. The other day I tried to do one sit up. I pulled a muscle in my butt. I didn't even know my butt had muscles. Since when do butts have muscles? Isn't it just like poop storage? I'm an adult. The truth is, when someone makes a comment about someone else's body, they're doing it in accordance to their own internal beauty standards, and then they're masking all that toxic crap by saying, no, it's health. And when it comes to body shaming, I have to talk about heroes like Lizzo, someone who's been so vocal and outspoken about her workout routine and about her eating habits, but still gets comments online that are toxic. And I think Lizzo said it best when she said, I'm working hard to have my ideal body type. What type is that? None of your freaking business. She doesn't say freaking, she says something else, but <laughs> network TV. Megan the Stallion also had some insightful things to say about body image when she said body adi 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 adi. And I'm sure even at this point, there's gonna be people watching that are like, no, but if and er, er, health, health, health. Can I ask you a question? Can we just put our guards down for a second? If this was actually about health, then why so many times do people get comments about things related to their body that have nothing to do with health? Why are people coming for stretch marks? Why are you coming for body hair? Why are you coming for acne? What do those have to do with health? You're gonna hate on my stretch marks? Excuse me, <laughs> my stretch marks, all they mean is that my booty grew. Who's mad at that? Not I, good sir. And my body Body hair? You want to be judgy about my body hair? Sometimes I pose and I got hair in places. Okay, you don't need to do that, okay? I got plenty of that in grade school. That's right. Ravi, I'm looking at you. You made fun of my arm hair. I hope you live a life of minor inconveniences. So please, let's normalize all bodies being healthy and beautiful, okay? And honestly, let's start with mine. I stared at myself in the mirror for too long. And that's what I say. I'm working this shirt. Okay. That does hurt though. See? I'm not fit. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying season two of A Little Late with Lily Singh. If you're not sick of this face yet, go ahead and click subscribe right over there. Check out more clips just like this one right over there. More importantly, have a great day. Bye!